And welcome to She Shaves with your host, Jill. Yep, I'm Jill. Let's take care of some business first. The, uh, as those that follow know, I have been using a different brush for every shave. And this was my uh, DS Cosmetics brush with a synthetic knot in it that I used last. So that is 32. Let me change that number. Oops, got the wrong marker. 32 brushes that I've used so far. That's a lot of damn brushes. Okay, let's put her in there in the other room with her friends. Okay, but the brush I am going to be using today is... Uh, Dia Wait a minute, did I put the wrong one out there? I sure did. <laughs> the brush I am going to be using is from uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, and it's the Green Bay brush. Green Ray. Yeah, Green Ray, rather. Sorry about that. The Green Ray. It's a synthetic, so it doesn't need any soaking, but I am going to get it moist. All right. And... This is another in the series of uh, testing for Soap Commander. And I just happen to be, just happen to be, no, I am, um, on their seasonal scent crew. And we are now uh, testing the, um, the summer scents. And today I'm using the blue, which is uh, sea salt, ozone, greenery, florals, orchid, uh, the florals are orchid, jasmine, lily of the valley, and tonka bean. So that's the soap I'm going to use today. And I have pressed it in the bottom of my Captain's Choice bowl. Used my little cosmetic spoon to scoop that in there. And the razor... Oh, well, let me tell you this. This uh, brush came out... Uh, and the razor that I'm going to use came out of a um, uh, shaving starter kit from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. And in it, it had... Uh, oh, I can never get the right flap to open. In it, it had the brush and the razor I'm going to use today. Very much like a... What is that? DE89. And it came with uh, two tucks of blades shark blades and boshkod blades and it came with an aftershave cologne so that's a nice little kit if you want to look into that so let's get on with soap commander okay oh it helps if i load a blade in the uh, razor it's got a nice uh, knurling on the handle a good grip it is a three-piece razor Pretty mild, relatively speaking, and I'm going to use one of the shark blades that came in it. Um, I have one use on this blade already. So, lay that on there. Lay the top on it, and grab the handle, and screw it down. Short blades are not my favorites, but because it came with it, I'm going to go with the program. Okay, now, finally, let's get on with the damn shave. So I moistened the brush. And I'll start loading it out of here. 
I'm not going to do a full bowl lather. I'm just going to use it uh, in the bowl to load the brush. Oh, does that smell good? Mm, another complex scent, right? Salt, ozone, mm, greenery, a whole bunch of florals. Tonka bean. I love tonka bean. Okay, let's add a little bit more water so we can load that better. So, as you can tell, I'm still froggy. I'm feeling like shit. I have a sore throat, shortness of breath. I have nine palm trees in the back, and they do a yearly inspection. And one thing I had had to do is take care of the palm fronds that are falling off and take them out. It's really weird because I did that and uh, put them by my front yard, and I was out of breath just from like five trips from my backyard to my front yard to put them there so I could cut them up and put them in my trunk and dip dispose of them. And um, I hadn't finished my last load. And when I went to check my mail, the palm fronds were gone. So, uh, and my lawn was done. So the lawn guy must have either dumped them in the pond behind my house <laughs> or taken them to the dumpster himself. Okay. That's a nice load on there. Now I had that little cut there from my last shave. Nicked to myself. I love soap, Commander Soaps. And this tester is no exception. good to go in with a, a a little damp brush but load the heck out of it and then as you put it on your face just continue adding water to the consistency you like as you can see it lathers up quite quickly now that's quite pasty so I'm going to add some more water. Work that in. So how are you guys feeling about the restrictions being lifted? I think it's too, too early. And I know a lot of people that are not going to do what they say they can do and are still safe dis distancing themselves from things. Although I do want my hairdresser to be open because <laughs> I am in desperate need of a haircut. I can add a little bit more water. Lathering that up and um, lathering up here on the neck. And it's funny, um, <laughs> on First World Groom Room, he explained that he, he only does it on this side of his face because he's not real dexterous to do it on this side of the face. Well, how are you straight razor shaving <laughs> if you can't lather my... <laughs> splaying it on that side. I don't know. <laughs> I just got a I just got a tickle out of that. I have no issues. <laughs> Okay, that's looking awfully darn good. Look at that. Still a lot left in the brush. All right, let's get going. But first, visit us. Oh, clear on the snack track. 
setting the nose stud, and clearing the lips. All right, this is again, like I say, a pretty mild razor. Stay in frame. Okay, let's stamp the face and see where we're at. Oh, did a pretty good job considering it's been a long time since I used this razor, so maybe it's not as mild as I thought it was. Let's get another lather going, shall we? That's another thing that cracks me up. Good old Chris at um, IMCDB. He always uses the the regal we when he refers to himself. We really like this lather. We really like the aggressiveness of that razor. He never says I. <laughs> so maybe he's got some royal blood in him, huh? Love you, Chris. You know, I'm just razzing you. In a loving way. the snot track, set the nose stud, clear the lips, pass two. It sounded like Glenn Healy, didn't it? Pass two. Hi, Glenn. Okay. Wow. All I need is a little bit down here. Maybe I can get a shave in under 20 minutes. I feel a little something here like I might have caught a bump.
jaywalking, wow, nice, oh, more on the soap, it really offered me good protection, it really did, because I have some bumps and stuff going on here, and it hasn't cut me, well, I'm happy with that shave. Good residual slickness on that soap so that I, even without any visible soap on my face, I can do this with no issue. And the scent, like I said, is really good. I can't wait to test the uh, last one and then put my vote in. So I hope you've been catching the series. All right, let's let the water out. So if you've not already done so, please uh, subscribe to the channel because there is something coming up. And if you've watched my previous videos with a partial uh, wording in the title is and something something you want to be subscribed to the channel and give me a thumbs up if you would I love doing these videos for you I really do if you got any questions ever I always include my email address I had to take this earring out because I got a little something going on there okay that's a bbs shave and boy oh boy, boy oh boy does it feel soft that's a great soap and they're so inexpensive it's unbelievably unbelievable how inexpensive so post shave i'm going to use um epsilon aftershave uh blue mediterranean how appropriate for a blue soap I always left it, let any alcohol waft off first. Mmm, that feels good. It smells good. It's perfect with this soap. All right. And for my post shave balm, I'm going to use uh, Sterling Shave Co. or Soap Co. Uh, unscented. Don't need much. In fact, even that is a bit too much. And I do believe that has menthol in it. Uh, I don't know. Does it? Still water, witch hazel, aloe. No, I don't see any menthol in there. Okay. Oh, that was a great shave. So, like I said, it's after 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to jump in the bathtub, take a bath, go back to bed, or go to bed, <laughs> and run all my errands tomorrow that I didn't do all week. So, with that being said, I'm going to say goodbye for right now. And you guys know I love you, right? All right. Bye-bye.